With the field of 68 fizzled down to just 16 teams, we can finally start to analyze who's left, how they got here, and how they'll keep advancing. The 16 game days of March Madness are over and now, with more breathing room in between tip-offs, we can finally see how freaking wild the opening rounds of the 2018 NCAA tournament were. Had this story been written a week ago today, I would have felt safe prepping words on Miles Bridges' need to assert his way through the paint to get Michigan State to the Elite Eight. I would have written about Kyle Guy's task as the go-to scorer in Virginia's offense, Trevin Blewett's need to take the reins for Xavier and about Joe Barry and Theo Pinson shooting the lights out for UNC. Somehow, all of those players are gone now, as are most of the familiar faces from this college basketball season. Trey Young, Mo Bamba, DeAndre Ayton and Michael Porter Jr. all left in the first round, and Jaron Jackson and Colin Sexton joined them after the second. The spotlight is there for the taking for this year's overlooked talent. In alphabetical order by team, here are the players to watch for on each of the remaining Sweet 16 teams, and how they can help their teams advance to the Elite Eight. Gabe DeVoe, Clemson photo by Donald Morrell, Getty Images Sweet 16 opponent, Kansas position, guard year, senior Clemson wins F. DeVoe can out duel Kansas Devontae Graham. Both the Jayhawks and Tigers have deep back courts, so Clemson needs its 40% three-point shooter to be on the money to beat a superior opponent. DeVoe has scored 22 points in each tournament game so far, and made 8 of 14 shots from deep in total. Marvin, Badly 3, Duke photo by Rob Carr, Getty Images Sweet 16 opponent, Syracuse position, forward, center year, freshman Duke wins if, Bagley can fight his way through, Hughes' zone defense, especially past 7, 2 center Pascal Chukwu, and dominate the pain like he has all season. Bagley will be an NBA lottery pick in this summer's draft, and needs to prove he's the best player on the court and finish over Q's length, and power through their traps. It won't be an easy task. Phil Kofer, Florida State photo by Frederick Breeden, Getty Images Sweet 16 opponent, Gonzaga position, forward year, senior FSU wins if, Kofer can shoot over the length of the Bulldogs' bigs. On four attempts this year, the 6'8 son of a former Pro Bowl NFL linebacker is shooting 39% from deep. He only made one of his five attempts from three, ten points, and a close win over Xavier, and the Knowles will need more from him against to upset the Zags. Jonathan Williams, Gonzaga photo by Kevin C. Cox, Getty Images Sweet 16 opponent, Florida State position, forward year, senior Gonzaga wins if, Williams dominates the boards and scores like he has been. Williams made a name for himself in last year's Final Four run, and now, with Zach Collins and others gone, he's assumed a lead role. He leads the team in scoring at 14 per game, and also has help from Rui Hachimura, Zach Norville Jr., and Killian Tilly. The Zags are deep with Williams leading the way. Duvante, Graham, Kansas Sweet 16 opponent, Clemson position, guard year, senior Gonzaga wins if, Graham shoots the lights out. The senior is having a spectacular final season, and was already awarded the Big 12 Player of the Year award. He fires at 40% from deep, and if he can make plays off the dribble, it's over for Clemson. Barry Brown Jr. Kansas State photo by Streeter Lugga, Getty Images Sweet 16 opponent, Kentucky position, guard year, junior KSU wins if, Brown can exploit Kentucky's guard deficiencies and force turnovers. Brown averages two steals per night, and has one of the best steal rates in the nation. If Kentucky's freshman gets sloppy, K-State can steal another one. Shai Gilgis Alexander, Kentucky photo by Kevin C. Cox, Getty Images Sweet 16 opponent, Syracuse position, guard year, freshman Kentucky wins if Gilgis Alexander can outlast KSUS pesky defense, and continue to be Kentucky's leading scorer. SGA has put himself into the NBA draft lottery conversation averaging 23 points, 7 rebounds and 6.5 assists in two tourney games. He'll face the toughest defense he's seen on Thursday. Clayton Custer, Loyola Chicago photo by Ronald Martinez, Getty Images Sweet 16 opponent, Nevada position, guard year, junior Loyola Chicago wins if, Custer maintains his 46% three-point shooting, and maybe hits another game winner. Both Loyola Chicago and Nevada have made it further in the tournament than even they could have hoped for, and this will be a grind. Custer needs to step up even more than he did in the opening two rounds. Mo Wagner, Michigan photo by Ronald Martinez, Getty Images Sweet 16 opponent, Texas A. He'll need to remain a deep ball threat to lure the Aggies bigs out in open lanes for his teammates, and play physical enough to secure boards down low. This is Wagner's biggest test to date.
Caleb and Cody Martin, Nevada Photo by Andy Lyons, Getty Images Sweet 16 Opponent, Loyola Chicago Position, Forward Year, Junior Nevada Wins If, the Marins crash the boards and score in the mid-range like